Let's get it. 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 Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be trying out one of the new palettes that my homegirl, Keeping It Simple with Bridget, sent to me in our makeup swap. I'm so, so excited to try out one of the palettes that she sent me. And the palette that I'm trying out today is going to be the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, okay? I am so excited about this palette. I've been wanting this palette ever since it came out, and I've just been like, mm, 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 girl, 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 why haven't you bought it? But my girl hooked me up, so I'm going to be using this palette today. I'm going to be using quite a few of the new items that she sent me in our makeup swap but this is what the palette looks like just in case you guys don't know what the naked heat looks like okay this palette is the bomb straight up fire okay so i'm gonna see what kind of smoldering smoky look i can make today with this palette i'm also going to use some different things that she sent me on my skin um, trying the foundation she sent me, bronzer, highlighter, all of this stuff. Even my um, brushes that she sent me. She sent me some bomb vegan brushes and she also sent me another really, really cute brush set. So I'm going to be using some of these brushes today too. We so, just going to hang out and chill and kick it and try out this stuff today, you guys. So if you guys want to see um, how all of this stuff turns out on me, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys. So I want to start out before I prep my eyelids. I already threw on some eyebrows as you can see. But before I prep my eyelids and stuff, I want to try out some of this skincare stuff that she sent me. And this first item here is from Bare Minerals. And it says Brilliant Future Age Defense and Renew Serum. So this is what the bottle looks like. Very, very nice. <clears throat> and it says on here I can use a date day and night and just to apply three to four drops to my face and neck so i'm just going to put it on my face um because i'm just curious to see uh how it feels and how it makes my skin feel so try not to wipe my eyebrows off you guys <laughs> but it smells really nice. It doesn't um, have a strong scent to it or anything at all. It's just a really light scent and it's very, very nice. It feels good on my skin. It's very soothing and very moisturizing. So, okay, very nice. So I just wanna go ahead and let that sit on my skin while I you know, do the rest of my makeup today before I move on to the foundation. Now she also got me this Estee Lauder Resilient Lift Firming Sculpting Eye Cream, which looks like this. And Your girl loves a good eye cream, okay? Love, love, love a good eye cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of this and place some of it under my eyes and just kind of work that in just a bit. Not too hard though, you know that skin under your eyes is very sensitive, so. I try to just kind of gently place my eye creams under my eyes. Not too, too rough. That's nice too. Very soft and moisturizing. No scent at all, like zero scent. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and prep my eyelids with some of my LA Girl Pro Conceal just so I can get going on my eyeshadow. Okay, you guys, and like I always do, I'm gonna go ahead and use some tape on the sides of my eyes just so that I have a nice, neat um, line for my eyeshadow. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what color we're gonna start out with. And this um, eyeshadow palette, it comes with a brush in the eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one or not but it does come with the eyeshadow brush. And I think I'm going to start out with this shade here, um, Sauced, because I do want to have a bit of a peachy, uh, peachy look. So I'm gonna start out with this color Sauced in my uh, brow bone area. Ooh, 
Wow, so there's definitely a nice pigment coming from this um, light, kind of peachy type shade, but it's definitely pigmented. Okay, so next I'm gonna go right into this color He Devil, which is this shade right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and focus that in my crease area. Now you guys, the pigment on this palette is very, very nice. This color is coming off really, really nice on my eyelids. And I'm not having any issues with blending them out. So I'm really liking it so far. Okay, so I really want a nice, deep, smoldery look. I really, really do. So I think on my lid, my actual lid space, I'm gonna go in with ashes which is this color here, this deep dark color, ashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that on my actual lid. And I'm not gonna put down any concealer or anything first. I really wanna see how the pigment is on this shadow. Okay, so now I've placed that dark shade, ashes, right onto my immediate lid space. And I wanna go ahead and smoke it out. And there's not much fallout. There is a little bit of fallout. There is a little bit of fallout from this palette, as you can see, just a very small amount, but not a lot at all. <laughs> so now that I have that down, I'm gonna go ahead and go into this really, really pretty burgundy shade here, Fuego. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Fuego and I'm going to use that to smoke out my crease area. So now I'm just gonna go in and add just a little bit more of the color Ashes, that really, really dark color that I put on my lid. And I'm just going to make sure my lid is nice and dark and I'm also going to just smoke out the outer corners even more. Okay, so now that I have those colors blended out to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of highlight to my inner corner. So I'm gonna take this color, I don't know, I can't. I can't see that. I'm gonna take this color here and just pop that in my inner corner. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and remove my tape and add some liquid eyeliner. And today I'm just using my usual Wet n Wild black liquid eyeliner. Okay, you guys, so now I'm going to move on to my face and because I'm really, really excited to try out the foundation that she bought me. Um, since I've already put that serum and stuff on my face, I'm gonna go ahead and with my e.l.f. primer and I'm just going to put some of this on my face before I go in with the foundation. Okay, so now to the foundation. Now the foundation that she got for me is this Lancome um, Tint Idol Ultra Wear, and this is what the box looks like. Sorry about the glare. And this one, it says it's for all skin types. It looks like it's full coverage, and this is in the color 460 Suede, up to 24 color wear and comfort, transfer resistant. And it has um, sunscreen, broad spectrum, SPF 15. So very nice, very nice. And I'm thinking this shade is going to be a little light for me. So I don't have any of the NYX drops to um, deepen it up. This is what the shade looks like. 
So um, I think I might add a little bit of my LA Girl Pro Conceal in a deeper, it's a little bit of a warmer shade, just a little bit to kind of warm it up to get my perfect color. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pump a little bit out just so you can see what the color looks like. So this is what the color looks like. So yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a bit light for me. Mm, yeah, I think it's gonna be a bit light for me. So I'm going to just pump out a little more and I'm going to add some of my LA Girl Pro Conceal. And, and it looks like the LA Girl Pro Conceal that I'm using is in the color Beautiful Bronze, if I'm reading that correctly. Beautiful Bronze. So I'm just taking about this much foundation and I'm adding about this much of the LA Girl Pro Conceal in there just to kind of deepen it up a bit. Okay, looks like I might have a good match. Let's go ahead and put this on. And I'm not gonna color correct. I'm probably gonna regret it, but I'm not gonna color correct today. Wow, this foundation has some nice coverage. Gee whiz. What do you guys think? Did I do a pretty good color match with the mix? It's looking okay on camera, so we'll see. So I think I did a pretty good color match mixing the, um, the LA Girl Pro Conceal in just a little bit with that foundation really made it a nice match for me. So I'm happy about that, okay, I'm loving it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try um, the Makeup Forever Concealer that she got me. Okay, you guys, so I'm really feeling this foundation. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to try out this um, concealer that she got me. This is the Revolution Concealer. It says Conceal and Define. Hmm, this is the color C12. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this shade. This is a lighter one that she got me. So I'm gonna try out this lighter one today and see how I like it. Now this concealer was something that was on my wish list. So um, I had actually told Bridget that I wanted to try it out and she got it for me. Um, I just heard so many different, you know, people raving about it and saying that it was really, really good. Now I've never tried the Tarte Shape Tape ever a day in my life. So I couldn't say, you know, how it compares to the Tarte Shape Tape because I've never used Tarte Shape Tape. My favorite concealer is the ColourPop and it works It works amazing for me. I love it. It stays put, it stays um, nice and, and thick and it doesn't thin out when I blend it. So I love the ColourPop. Now this concealer I can see already, um, I can still see a little bit of my dark circles coming through with this. So I might have to place another um, a layer of it on and blend it out but I really don't want to because I don't like to just pile on and pile on concealer so but other than that I do actually like the consistency of this it does remind me of the color pop to a certain extent but I already know just at this point that I like the color pop better. So now I'm just gonna go in quickly and use some of my collab setting powder. And this one is in the color Almond Caramel. And I'm gonna use this just to set under my eyes and my highlighted areas. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and since I have the highlighted areas set, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder and this is in the color 360. And I'm gonna go ahead and warm my face back up and then I'm gonna go ahead and try out the bronzer and highlight that she bought me. Okay, so I'm not really sure if I'm liking how my Maybelline Fit Me powder is blending with this foundation or setting this foundation and um, transitioning with this highlighter. I just, I don't know, it just feels like it's not 
mixing properly, but you know, I'm probably not doing something right. So I'm going to go in, usually I have a contour right now, but I'm going to go in with this bronzer cause I'm not sure if I'm supposed to contour and bronze. I don't know. So I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer and this is a powder bronzer. What color is this? This is mahogany. So I'm just going to kind of use this, I guess, all over my face. Um, <laughs> like I said, I don't know how to bronze. Um, oh, I totally forgot I'm supposed to be using my new brushes. Ah! <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna use one of my new um, brushes here and test out this bronzer and see how it looks on me. I'm really scared, you guys, but I'm gonna test it out. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it looks kind of nice, actually. Hmm. I don't know, it just, yeah. my face looks kind of patchy today. I think I really like this bronzer, you guys. It kind of reminds me of like a, a blush and a slight contour, like all combined into one. So actually I think it's kind of nice. I think this concealer might be throwing me off a bit, but I think this um, bronzer, <laughs> which I'm like, I'm gonna look like I've been sitting out in the sun in a minute if I keep going, <laughs> but I really like this bronzer. Okay, it's nice. Okay, I better chill out with the bronzer. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Hopefully I put it on right. You guys tell me if I put it on right. I think I put too much on because I put it like all over my face, but I like it. <laughs> okay, so you know what? Let me go ahead and finish my eyes up so that I can move on to my highlight and my lipstick. So with my eyes, I am going to go ahead and smoke out the bottom using this color Inferno. So I'm gonna go in with this Inferno shade. Um, and I might mix it a little bit with the darker shade um, Ashes also. Okay, you guys, so next I'm gonna go ahead and try out this Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. It is an illuminating powder highlight. So let's go ahead and try this out. And this is what the gorgeous packaging looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It reminds me of an album or, you know, a record. <laughs> For those of you youngsters, this is, it looks like something we used to play music on, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is what the highlighter looks like, you guys, if you can see that. Gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to, I wanna use one of my new brushes, but this is too big. Um, I'll use one of these. So she brought me these, bought me these really, really pretty um, orange brushes as well. So I'm gonna use this for this highlight. I don't even wanna touch it. I'm gonna go lightly at first. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. It's very glittery. I don't know if you can see that. It's very glittery. Oh, but it's pretty. Ooh. Oh my goodness. You see that? Very pretty. Okay, you guys, so this is one of the items that I've really been super excited to try. And this is the Too Faced Melted Matte, uh, Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. And this one is in the color Evil Twin. So I'm really, really excited to try this. I'm not sure if I should use a lip liner or not. Um, I don't think I am. It's a really, really pretty, deep, dark, I don't know. Um, 
it's just gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous so I'm going to go ahead and try this out with this naked heat look today Oh my goodness. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> yes, girl. Bridget, you know you did it with this color, okay? You knew I was gonna love this. I love this. Oh my gosh. Girl, you picked a winner. <laughs> you picked a winner. Mm, you know, with these dark colors, it's like you gotta really, really be careful because, you know, I don't have those perfect, perfect shaped lips to where, you know, you can just put it on and go. You gotta get this stuff on perfect. This is my new favorite lipstick. This is absolutely my new favorite lipstick, hands down. Well, you guys, this is the final look using some of the items from my goodie box, my wonderful swap that I did with Bridget and these bomb makeup products that she bought for me. So I am in love with this palette. I knew I would love it. I knew I would love it. And that's why it was on my wish list. <laughs> and I am so, so glad that I have it now because I really, really like how it performed and how the look turned out. So you guys, this palette is the bomb, okay? And like I said, this lipstick, it is my absolute favorite now. So, and I'm really, really feeling the bronzer. I don't use bronzer. I never use bronzer. But I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm kind of feeling it. I'm thinking that bronzer is going to be my new thing for the summer. So, loving the bronzer, loving the highlight. Lipstick is my favorite. I'm not exactly sure about the concealer yet. I'm still kind of on the fence about whether or not I like it as of right now it's not too bad it's not too bad so um all in all these products are great I just wanted to have some fun trying them out using one of my new eyeshadow palettes and just kind of hanging out so I hope you enjoyed watching me try out these products please hit like comment let me know what you think you know maybe you have some thoughts or ideas about you know the foundation the bronzer the concealer um whatever the case may be i really don't care what you think about the lipstick because i love it <laughs> but hopefully you love it too so anyway enough of me babbling and running my mouth thank you so much for watching please hit like comment and subscribe and i will see you on my next video Toodles!